I'm really gonna film this right now. <laughs> my fan broke. I fixed it. I actually opened it up and then I fixed it. One point for me versus adulthood. Hello, I am back. Mm, I think it's already time for coffee. <laughs> Wait, this is not complete without some iced coffee. Look, I made this cold brew. That's satisfying, right? Fully converted. I'm sorry, I know it's been three months? Four months since I've last posted. Um, you know why, you know how it is these days. Anyway, I digress. My video for today is about my sustainable wins and sins. I just really want to get that drive in. So for anyone who's known me for the past few years, you would know that I've been trying to live a more sustainable life. So that's in terms of just cutting down at least the trash that I produce that gets sent to landfill or in other efforts as well, like sharing content that I see that I think is interesting, I think is also a good um, way. So that's why I've been thinking about, should I really post another one of these videos? Because YouTube already has a lot of those content creators that do stuff on sustainability, minimalism, but I wanted to share what worked for me as a beginner. So I hope it helps you in also trying to live a more sustainable life. So these are my 10? I will say 10 general um, wins for me. And I want it to start a discussion more than anything. So if you think that um, I could do better in some of these items, comment down below. Or if you think I could expand my list into other areas, let me know as well yeah. I also kind of want to do this to document my progress because if I watch this five years from now like how far did I go what changed I just kind of want to document that part more than anything anyway on to the actual video I changed my shirt because I spilled coffee on it. <sighs> Kaya pa ba? Yes, okay. <laughs> and also warning, I think it's about to rain. So the lighting will change a lot. Legit na. Number one. First one is the menstrual cup. I've used this one for over a year now. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about the benefits of the menstrual cup, how to use it. There's a video, a favorite video of mine, um, sent to me by John Lynn, wherein a doctor, a Philippine, a Filipina doctor, a YouTuber and a Filipina doctor talked about all the benefits um, and just their stories about the menstrual cup and I agree with all of it. So I think that's a better source of information than this video. <laughs> but anyway, really um get the menstrual cup it is life-changing i have not bought um the pads yung normal pads for over a year i started using this july 2019 and it's already october and 2020 yeah um i bought mine from sinaya cup um they're a good company because for every one that you buy um they provide one to someone who needs it. Um, there are a lot more, I think, cheaper options out there now, which is a good thing. That's why we need to keep talking about these items because it gives businesses opportunity to produce these items at a lower cost because there is demand. So I highly suggest for my female friends to use start using a menstrual cup. Also, I think it's also important for me to say that um, I computed and I one year of pads 
would equip would equal like the price I bought the Sinaya cup for. And that was the price wherein there's this pouch, the actual cup, and then this what do you call this? This thing <laughs> came with it. So if there are cheaper options, if you buy um, from other brands, the cost would even be less. So I only will promote sustainable items here that I think are worth it. Maybe five years from now, that's when I'll start talking about getting a battery powered car or having a fully solar powered home. But for now, as beginners, I know how costly it is to transition to a more sustainable life. That's why I'm, or at least that's the perception. That's why I want to film this video to, to show um, the items that I think are actually worth it for now. This video is gonna be a long video if I keep rambling on like this. But anyway, number two are items that I've started using um, instead of the disposable ones for my body and skincare. In hindsight, I should already have all these things lined up in the table in front of me. But I did not. That's why I had to get them. Anyway, the first one is obviously a bamboo toothbrush. Ooh, that's still when I brush my teeth. <laughs> um, honestly, I actually searched like if it's cheaper than the normal ones. There are options wherein when you buy toothbrushes in a pack, the plastic ones, they are, I think, cheaper than the bamboo ones. But then, if you buy those um, Ipaxo 3, then it will also come out that this is cheaper. So it's definitely in the mid middle ground, but I think it's worth it because obviously, you go through a lot of toothbrushes in your lifetime and that all goes to landfill and compared to these ones which, are, which you can compost and the bristles you can put in an eco brick, which is my third item. I think I bought this for 50 pesos, this one. So if you find toothbrushes that are more expensive than that, there is absolutely no reason why you should not switch to a bamboo one because it does the same job. It does the same job. And then another one is cotton pads. So instead of uh, the cotton pads that you use for your donor, the cotton ones that are disposable, I've invested in these reusable ones. I've been using this for over a year. I bought this at the same time I bought the menstrual cup. I, and yeah, I just have not bought any cotton rounds since 2019. And I was doubting buying this because I was thinking if I wash it, I still use a lot of water. Isn't that just gonna balance out my waist anyway? Then I searched online, and it, the first thing that comes up is how much when I when I type in how much water is used to produce cotton, and then it's twenty thousand liters for one kilo. That's insane! I have not consumed twenty thousand liters of water in washing these when I think I've used more than a kilo's worth of cotton rounds. That's all I'm saying. It's easy. It, I got shocked too. Cost-wise, this will come out cheaper because I just searched the brand that I used to buy and it's about 72 pesos around that range per pack. And I would use up a pack every month, I think, because you go through a lot every day. And these ones I bought from the Daily Converse shop and I'll link them down below. Um, a set of five is 60 pesos, so I have about 20 of these, so that's 240. The 240 pesos that I spent um, already lasted me how many months? July then. 15 months. Whereas these previous cotton pants, I used to spend 72 pesos on cotton rounds every month. Okay, I, know I knew this was gonna come out cheaper, I just didn't have an exact value. It's crazy. I hope that convinces you to switch to them too. Last item under number two is this stainless steel ear pick. This cost around 80 pesos when I bought this. And when I searched for cotton uh, cotton buds, it's around 55 pesos for 200 stems. So you can compute 
how often you clean your ears or what but I've used this for over a year and I can suggest it because we had an EPE earlier this year and I've been using the ear pick for about six months at that time and the doctor didn't really comment on if my ears were clean or not so I took that as a good sign so seriously I mean it's 80 pesos and I've never bought cotton buds again same logic with the cotton rounds number three for sustainable wins is echo break okay I have all of them here so right now I have four echo bricks there are four okay i just can't raise all of them at the same time but i started echo breaking around no there's a date here july 2019 it was because of the plastic free july movement and i please do not be under any illusion that this these four bottles contain all of my plastic waste for the past year. They do not. Echo breaking I started doing because I wanted to gauge how much how much how much items I consumed that came in plastic packaging. So most of these are food packaging I realized. And since I wanted as a goal to not fill this up as fast, it made me also aware of the food that I buy. So instead of buying usual um, chips and cookies and snacks that came in plastic packaging, I kind of preferred or started preferring um, buying from the local bakery below snacks. Then I'll just bring my own container or cookies, freshly baked cookies that I can also buy with paper packaging instead of the plastic ones. So it kind of helped me out in terms of the health front because it should not this means that the job of um, reducing plastic waste goes to the consumer which is me it's not my job it is I can do my best to minimize my plastic consumption but as long as products that come in plastic packaging are available and that they are what I need to live <laughs> Um, I will, of course, consume them. So that's why it's important to have these conversations wherein companies should also be responsible for the waste that they produce, not just the consumers. Anyway, once my fourth bottle is filled up to the brim and that it can't take any more plastic, I'll give this to one of the designated drop-off points that Plastic Solutions PH have uh, listed, so they use this instead of cement. Um, yeah, it's a brick, basically, <laughs> because plastic is durable. That's insane. Number four, I'm getting sleepy, but I'm still. <laughs> I think the coffee is just not kicked in yet. it's probably just the sun in my eye anyway number four are my cleaning items hmm, very specific um so same logic i think with my body and skincare items um instead of disposable ones like the sponges plastic sponge i have not bought those in over a year as well i use cloth sponges they do the same job and then you can clean them and just reuse them repeatedly until they cannot be used anymore, but you can still use them as rags if uh, you think they're dirty already. And then just the compostable dish sponges also, which you can clean and I will use up. This is kind of fairly new actually, because my uh, other one, because I need for the hard to clean items, <laughs> you need um, stronger tile sheets. So I had tile sheets before. Then I switched up to the, these ones. I think I got these from simulac.ph. So I'll link them down below. So number five, or maybe last of part one of my sustainable wins are my grocery bags or my grocery routine as a whole. Buy you know, less packaged items 
following the echo brick i bought these mesh bags where and i can put the vegetables i buy instead of getting the plastic from the grocery you don't need to buy these you pr probably have bags like these lying around from items that you previously purchased you can still use them just the same just clean them then bring them to the grocery when you buy carrots or garlic onions then when you weigh them they don't weigh much so they're not going to change the <laughs> scale the tip the scale that much so i use these i think i bought these from one of these sustainable shops just around the corner once again you don't need to buy them like this just use the normal cough bags but the MVP of my grocery routine is my trusty stroller. <laughs> this was given to me by Karel uh, in 2018, I think, Christmas party 2018, because I asked for one. <laughs> so instead of getting the plastic bags from the grocery, I just put all the items that I purchased in this bag and carry them home. But for the a tip, also, even if you have these, sometimes you buy um, frozen items. So I just bring my own plastic bag. I think this plastic bag has been in that bag for two years. And I've used the same one. Yeah, you just don't need to get another big plastic bag from the grocery. Sometimes I still fail. And sometimes there are items that I did not expect to buy and I need another plastic bag for then that's okay. Um, once again, baby steps. You do not have to beat yourself up too much if um, you still get one of these plastic bags. I think what's important more than anything is that you use it until the end of its life rather than its original purpose of just being used once. Right? Hi, that's all for now. I'll upload the next part as soon as I have the energy to edit the next part. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this one. Like and comment and let's just start a discussion below. Yun lang! Halong! <laughs> no! <laughs>